And um, there might be one question I can go over in five minutes that's worth doing in five minutes. Oh, maybe this one. Yeah, question 11 is I think one that I get a lot of question about from time to time. So, so actually, let me do that. Um, I mean, all these questions I wish I had more time for. I think I did this one, question eight. And for the other questions, I wish I had time for, but I don't. I think this is the one scenario I do want to cover. So here, really, what you are using is um, conservation of momentum idea. That's the main thing you are relying on. That's um, what, what you need to feel comfortable with and what conservation of momentum means is, well, when you have the uh, total momentum, you add up all the momentum of everything in your system, or um, let me, the, that summation symbol might not be familiar to everyone, so let me just write up. When you have the total momentum, maybe at the before some kind of interaction. And in a situation where momentum is conserved, what conservation of momentum means is that total momentum doesn't change between uh, before and after the interaction. So in this scenario, you are given the masses of the objects and you are given the first masses moving towards the second mass at this speed. So you are actually given the to uh, total initial momentum here through that information. And so reminder, momentum is given by mass times velocity. So I have momentum of this body here, mass times velocity, or um, that's going to be 0 0.5 kilograms times 5 meters per second, or 2.5 kilogram meters per second. And to be careful here, this is the, oh wait, wait, the part A asks for before collision. So, okay, so that is the answer. I don't need to be careful of anything. <laughs> 2.5. Let me answer that and let's see. Yeah, that is correct. Let's keep going. <laughs> this is so, so yeah, this is a tutorial type question. So in part B, oh, okay. So in part B, um, it looks like uh, if they were to ask about the total momentum of the system after the collision, I would give them the same answer. And that's kind of what it's saying here. Since there is no external force, total momentum is conserved, meaning the total momentum of the system after the collision is the same as what it found in it. Okay, yeah, I guess having said that, it's kind of silly for me to ask. <laughs> um, so what it's asking is, uh, what is the speed of the combined masses moving after the collision? So this is where it's kind of worth um, looking at this combined system after the collision. I can kind of look at the combined mass here. I have two uh, M masses. So I can kind of think of this as a combined thing that has mass of 2m. And according to this conservation of momentum, what I do know is 2m times this final speed is equal to this initial momentum, which is same as the final momentum, 2.5 kilogram times meter per second. Oh, oh, and 2m, just so that I'm doing this easier, M is 0 0.5 kilogram, so 2M is one kilogram. So, oh, kilograms cancel out, one, you know, one is one. <laughs> so I have the final speed is 2.5 meters per second. So, all right, let's answer that. Yeah, that is the speed. Yeah, I think I actually picked this 0 0.5 kilogram number on purpose because it makes math easier. <laughs> All right, uh, I, do I, I don't think I want to clear entirely. Let me just erase some of these. Um, so let me kind of wrap up the remainder of the question. Uh, I have, so this is a, once again, tutorial type question. It's kind of trying to walk you through this kind of consideration that I'll be teaching you to do a lot in physics 4A. Okay, it says, uh, we call this type of collision totally inelastic collision. And you're going to shortly see why. Calculate the total kinetic energy of the system before and after the collision. All right, let me write down some of these things as a reminder to myself. 
m is equal to 0 0.5 kilograms, and the V initial was equal to 5 meters per second. So when I look at the kinetic energy, um, the total kinetic energy before the collision, so it's just going to come from these, um, the, a single mass moving at this speed. So the initial kinetic energy will be one half times the single mass, 0 0.5 kilograms times the speed squared, five meter per second squared. We're doing this in the calculator, 0 0.5 times, 0 0.5 meaning one half, and then 0 0.5 meaning kilogram <laughs> times uh, five squared. Okay, that all looks right, equals 6.25. Okay, um, so my initial kinetic energy is equal to 6.25 kilogram times meters squared per second squared or joule. All right. Um, yeah, I guess I can put that in and kind of verify my, my answer as I go. Uh, each uh, blank counts as, counts as a part, so you don't have to answer both parts. Okay. So total kinetic energy of the system after the collision. If you put in 6.25, you're gonna get told that it's wrong, because it is wrong. Let's just uh, apply this formula uh, again. So, uh, oh, I guess I just wrote this down without writing. The kinetic energy is given by one half times mass times V squared. <laughs> so applying the formula for the after the collision, where uh, mass becomes 2m. Let me just change some of these numbers here. So the mass becomes one kilogram or two times 0 0.5. And uh, speed, I worked it out before, speed became 2.5 meters per second. Um, and I don't think it's gonna give me the same number. Let me just do this in calculator. Uh, 0 0.5 times one kilogram times 2.5 squared equals huh, 3.125. It's a half of what it was before. And yeah, and this is actually a general feature of totally inelastic collision involving two identical masses, <laughs> but uh, 3.125. But what's a kind of a general feature here is that when you have a collision where two things stick together, kinetic energy is not conserved. And um, so here, as far as explaining this goes, um, oh, wait, 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 I'm not concerned. Totally, because most amount, uh, that here, it did not go to zero. And what it's saying is it may not be possible for total kinetic energy to go to zero. And the reason is that um, it's to conserve momentum. In collisions, momentum is conserved most of the time. So uh, it had the initial momentum, has the same final momentum. If mo initial momentum wasn't zero, the final momentum isn't zero, and that means final velocity isn't zero. So, yeah.